Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Super Addictive Pets. I mean Super Auto Pets. This game's so addictive. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and say this now. I think this was my game of 2021. Honestly, it's so simple, but so complicated as well. Uh, let's get back into it. But first, a massive thank you to today's sponsor, Genshin Impact. Now Genshin Impact is an open world action RPG game available on PC, Android, iOS, and the PlayStation 4 and 5. It's set in a vast magical world and your adventure starts on the continent of Teyvat where seven kinds of elemental powers surge. And I'm pleased to let you know version 2.4 has just released, featuring a bridge load of new updates. So this new version is called Fleeting Colors in Flight. And look at the engineering that must have gone into this thing. Yes, you'll be restoring the Jade Chamber and returning it to the sky where it belongs. There's updated banners for new and returning characters. Shen He and Un Jin are new characters, and Chao is a returning character. There's also a new weapon, the Calamity Queller and Kanomiya. Beautiful new map. But that's not all. There's new hangout events, Series 5, as well as the Lantern Rite Festival, which is a huge celebration in Liyu. The Fireplume Starflowers, where you get to experience making fireworks firsthand with a gadget called the Launch Tube. The Wondrous Shadows, where you have to rotate segments of a shadow lantern, completing an image to be able to solve the lantern riddle. And there's also the Great Gathering. But that's not all, there's also new outfits, the Orchid's Evening Gown and the Opulent Splendor. And you also get a four-star invitation where you can invite a four-star character for free after finishing required quests. So thanks to Genshin Impact again for sponsoring today's video. Use my link in the description below to get Genshin Impact to your devices right now. But for now, let's get back to the video. So I've got a couple of ideas of what I want to do this time. Unfortunately, how the game works, you don't really have a say. So it's sort of whatever it gives you, you're going to have to try and do that. So we're going to start with a horse. Then we're going to add another horse. So he gets summoned by the horse behind. So he gets a little bit of a damage boost there. And then if we add the fish, he gets double so he's now four three but that's only for one turn next time that will be gone now i'm gonna freeze the honey because that's quite good to have early on and then we will roll oh and look we've got our horse so i've frozen the horse because if we get three of the same pets then we can level them up and then we get an unlock of like the next tier up so we'll leave that there frozen and then we'll end our turn and pick our name oh god i hate it when that adjective comes up oh dear okay which one of these is not going to get me demonetized <laughs> honestly i feel like all three are going to get me demonetized let's do the unintended mouths. Right, and um, we will be facing the loose ears. So we're up against an ant. We're going to get killed by the ant. Oh god, and he's leveled up. And we drew, which gives me this expression on my face. Oh, lovely. Look at this. So we got a fish as well. So we need a fish because that's going to help him. So I'm going to add another horse first. So he's been given four, which is pretty awesome. I'm then going to add this fish and oh, five. Love it. Yeah, and then I'm going to roll once more. And there's nothing there that I want, really. So I might just add the honey to one of the fish. And I think I'm going to put the fish at the back. So I'm not too confident about this build. I feel like the horses might get shafted. They're pretty weak, if I'm honest. But let's end our turn and see who we're up against. It is ugh, the creamy pants. Well, there you go. I tried to avoid it and I've been demonetized. <laughs> All right, come on, horses. Oh, God, that is a strong mosquito but the bee saved us we've got another draw so we're still undefeated perhaps we can do a flawless run probably not i've started with horses anyway look we've reached turn three so tier two our animals unlocked and we now lose two lives per loss that's good because it means we can now combine these horses and look we've unlocked a level three turtle and even better than that we've got a sleeping pill so if we hover over this turtle you can see when it faints it gives melon armor to the friend behind so if we buy him wherever we put him we can then we can then use a sleeping pill which makes a friendly pet faint and obviously when this one faints it gives melon armor to the person behind and melon armor is like a quite late on thing you unlock usually it appears down here i think it's like tier five maybe uh, so i'm gonna freeze that sleeping pill i'm not entirely sure how i want to do this i might just grab a hedgehog let's freeze the hedgehog and roll once more oh double beavers we could put two beavers in because we can level those up i tell you what i'm gonna i'm gonna try and stick with the win i think a hedgehog is actually gonna be better so i might put the hedgehog there he goes to five damage and we know that he'll get melon armor and melon armor in case you're wondering it allows you to take 20 damage as it says there but only once and then do i freeze the two beavers and hope i get another one what i could do i could put the fish on that fish and then add a beaver so he'll get leveled up to a two four uh, i think to be honest that needs to be in front of the hedgehog because when this hedgehog dies it deals two damage to everyone doesn't matter what team they're on you're getting two damage so i think i'll do that and then we don't have any more coins so i'll freeze you and then we'll end our turn right then we're against the shiny piggies so our turtle is gonna die but look we get armor and then we can kill him and then 
Nice. Horse kills. Awesome. We got our first win. All right, now I'm going to add a beaver onto there. We're, we're hoping for another beaver or another fish, really. Oh, look, we got a fish. We got our fish. So if we do that, that will level up everyone one on one. Nice. And then we've unlocked the ox. Ooh, I'll tell you what, I might move this hedgehog to the front now. Now we've done the fish, we know that the two damage to everyone won't actually kill everyone. And the earlier on it goes, the more damage it will do to the opponent's team. Now, do I freeze the ox? The ox is pretty good short term, but not so good long term. I'm also thinking of losing the horse, although 5-4 is not that bad at the moment. I think it's tier 3 next go anyway, so I'm not going to freeze the ox. Or should I? I don't know. I thought it. We'll just rock. What are we trying to get? What do we want? We want a beaver, really. There's the beaver. Freeze you. Anything else we're looking for? Not really. Okay, let's end our turn. Okay, so we're up against the hard packages. God damn it, everyone. All right, there you go. Two damage to everyone. Oh god, that fish is looking pretty Pretty hench. He might wipe the floor with us. The bee can't survive against a swan. He got pecked. We lost two hearts. Uh, that's not good. However, tier three is now unlocked. We lose three lives per loss. Okay, so let's level up the beaver. Oh, and look, we got a squirrel. I was thinking of trying to do a turn where I do just go squirrel and try and like use the food a bit more. I've never really done that before. So if we were to sell the beaver, now maybe I'll sell the horse. I don't think I want the horse. So I've sold the horse. I'm going to put the squirrel in and then I'm going to use a sleeping pill on that to give the squirrel melon armor because i'm planning to keep him long term uh, and then i don't know whether to go fish or do i just do the standard honey badger badger and honey is literally like the cheesiest thing you can do i think i'm gonna do it and then we're gonna freeze the fish just in case we get a fish in the next two rolls well, there's a hedgehog i don't think i want to keep hedgehogs i've dabbled with hedgehogs before they are fun but i want to try and do the food route so really i'd like a rabbit or a swan oh look there's another fish okay let's end our turn i think we might lose oh no i just realized as well i've got the hedgehog in front of the squirrel which means the melon armor does nothing idiot matt see there goes our melon armor and that swan is going to annihilate us oh where is it come on badger oh, another draw i'll take it right now everything is cheap so honey to the badger we'll add the two fish and really we want another fish uh, we could use a sleep pill or someone but no point we'll put you at the front mr squirrel and then we will roll oh there is the rabbit okay freezing you for next time and we've got a fish amazing so we can level up our fish to level three which will give everyone two and two but also it unlocks an animal of the next tier oh and another rabbit so we can level that up okay awesome we're good right now let's end our turn i'm feeling good now if we can survive this round we should have a good clean run to the finish line i hope All right come on squirrel oh we got beaten by a cricket what is going on Look at that though. Did you see how many enemies the hedgehog took out? There's a few rams to deal with, but the badger and bee should do it because the bee always survives at the end. Nice. Second win. Right, so tier four animals are unlocked, which means if I do this fish, we'll get a tier five animal. Let's do that. Oh, it's a seal and it's a food eating one. Yes. Okay. Okay. This is good. Do I get rid of the hedgehog? Or do I get rid of the beaver? Or do I get rid of the fish? I sort of want to keep the fish because it's level 3, just in case we get a bison. Alright, I'm going to get rid of the beaver. Oh, the hedgehog's just leveled up. No, hedgehog is going. Sorry, mate. Alright, now we add a rabbit, and now we add a seal to the front. And then we... Oh, do we do the salad bowl? I'm going to freeze the salad bowl, and then we're going to roll. Okay, that's good. We're, gonna, we're just going to do the salad bowl then. So what we've done here, basically, is the food is now cheap. It costs 2 gold rather than 3 because of the squirrel. The rabbit then, any food that gets health it gives it plus one health and also if we can feed the seal it gives two random friends one on one as well so basically we always want to try and feed the seal because that will help the entire team all uh, right in the meantime let's freeze the badger we've got the rabbit frozen we will roll and then we'll just end our turn all right so this might take a few goes before we get strong but we'll see how we do the seal's got a lot of health and it's going to take out the ant and the horse. So that's pretty good. That is a strong ass elephant. Right, rabbits dealt with him. I think we should have won this one with the bee. Nice. Badger wasn't even involved. We can level up the badger already. Okay, I, I gotta do that really because. Oh, we got a turkey. The turkey's a trap. The turkey is a trap. No, I think we did turkey in the last video, so we're not going to bother doing that. I might freeze the garlic armor and then roll once more. Oh, look, we got a pear. We have a pear. So I think the pear's going to go on the seal and then watch everyone just get health. It's going to be beautiful. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this could be good. This could be very good. I'm just thinking, what do I give my seal? Do I give him garlic armor or do I give him a chili or something? Let's just, we'll go with that for now. Let's end our turn. Right, so the nefarious citizens we are against. Uh, we should do okay. Oh, that, that 
Hippo is pretty strong. He's wiping my team. Although we should win this because the bee, <laughs> the honey badger is like cheating. I feel bad using it, but I've still got a big grin on my face. All right, tier five animals unlocked. Oh, look, we could even get a worm involved. Oh, we got a rabbit. So we can level up our rabbit to the next level. So now when a pet eats shop food, it gets two health. So let's give an apple to our seal and we'll show you what happens. So he gets that and then he gets two health and then he gives one and one to everyone. It is beautiful. Yeah, and then we've got two coins left. So I'm not going to roll. I'm just going to put the garlic armor on the seal and we'll do exactly the same thing pretty much nice we are getting a strong team oh actually food only costs one does it i had two coins before that no way does it cost one that's insane if it costs one. Oh look and we've got a seal there and a squirrel there so we'll freeze both of those and then we might freeze the salad bowl just in the hope that a seal will get one i don't know there might be some better food to use we are against the illegal shovels that is a strong mosquito oh god Oh god, he has wiped us. Completely wiped us. Yeah, the bee cannot face a monkey and a snail on his own. So we've lost three hearts there. We've got five remaining, which basically means we've got two lives left. Uh, we sort of need some more attack damage. All right, so we've got 10 coins. Let's just see how much does this use up. It does use up two. Okay, my maths just must have been way off last time. I really, I need some better fruit, man. I need better fruit. Let's roll once more. We could level up the squirrel, which will discount food by another level. So let's do that. Oh yes, that's exactly what we wanted. So look, with the cat, food and health attack effects are doubled. So next time we're going to be selling the fish for the cat. So let's end our turn. This is where it's going to get interesting. This is just like purely food based build. Uh, I've never actually done this. Oh my God, look at all these rabbits. So I think they tried to do something similar, but just with rabbits and a worm. Um, I think we're sort of ripping through their team, although that is a strong ass worm. Uh, we should be fine though. Good work, Badger. All right, so that's our fifth win and tier six animals are unlocked. Okay, so fish, you're being sold. That's three gold, lovely. We'll get the cat in and now watch this. So the pair, which gives 2-2 two, two to an animal, goes onto the seal. He gets 4-4 four, four because of the cat and then he gives 1-1 one, one to everyone. And then the rabbit gives him another two. He's gone up to 25. Yeah, so we've got melon armor for one gold. I'm just going to shove that on one of them, like the rabbit maybe. Literally just because I can. We're going to roll. Oh, we didn't get anything good really. Might freeze the squirrel. I don't really want a level three squirrel. Does that make food free? Maybe it makes food free. Okay, I'm going to freeze the squirrel just in case. Uh, right, seal. We got six coins. We're going to level up our seal to level two. So now when he eats shop food, he gives two friends two and two rather than just one and one. Badger there will freeze that. It's a shame I didn't get like a cow or anything because that would be really handy. Although I'd have to lose one of these. I don't think I want to lose any of them. I think the mushroom, they are good, but I, I'm not going to use it, I don't think. So let's just end our turn and hope our seal can do some damage. Oh God, look at that dog. 4150. Oh dear. He's just wiped us completely. Wow, we got rid of the dog, but that was it. Okay, unfortunately we're down to our last life already. Oh, but look, pizza, give two random pets two and two please go to the seal please oh we didn't quite go to the seal uh, let's roll we've got sushi three random pets one and one that will be very good because it becomes two and two and because one went to the seal oh my goodness it's going everywhere so we could use the cupcake but then we'll lose the garlic i think we'll just roll yeah look at that we got sushi again oh we didn't get the seal though uh, literally no point using canned food i might just roll i was going to say and hope to get a good bit of food but that's pretty rubbish okay so our team's pretty strong let's hope we can survive the next round if we lose this it's game over unfortunately or oh, we're against a hippo i think think we should be able to kill him. We might die as well, though. Oh, God. The snake behind. Oh, God. Okay, we got rid of the snake. Come on, squirrel. Squirrel is doing the damage. Love it. <laughs> nice. We got another win. All right. So now garlic arm. As it costs one gold, I might just give that to the seal again. Because we know we're going to get lots of leveling up. Uh, then I'm going to roll more garlic armor and another seal. Oh, and another cat. I don't know what a leveled up cat does. I, I am going to put the cat in just because I'm intrigued. All right. Now we'll roll. And look, we got two bits of food. So let's do the apple. And then we'll just roll once more. Oh, nice. We got a pear and we got a chili as we got so much health on the seal i might swap the garlic with chili next time because i feel like we should survive most hits which means we should be able to do a few more attacks than just one so that's splash damage for the one behind five every time so let's end our turn there oh no they've got they got some horrible things so that got rid of one of our melon armors oh look at that kangaroo as well 
Okay, now we're down to these two. I think we're going to win. Ooh, yes, the bee. The bee saved us. All right, nice. Three more wins to go. We can't lose, remember. So first things first, pear on there and then chili on there as well because we're about to be 50-50. Not too far soon, far off. All right, I've got another chili. Do I put it on the seal? I think yes, because that gives two random friends two and two and gains two itself. So I think that was worthwhile. And then we've got four coins remaining. I don't think it's worth doing any of those. Let's roll. I was going to say because we might get a cat, but we've got sushi, which is actually really good now. So we'll bung that in. Our seal now has 49 health. Nope, now it has 50. And 50 is like the max. You can't go above 50. So that's all pretty good. Let's end our turn. I'm feeling fairly confident, but I'm not too sure how this is going to go. Uh, we should kill the gorilla in one hit. Uh, not the camel. He killed us in one hit. Blimey. Oh god. Okay, I think we're I think we're good. I think we're good. It takes me a little while to work out because there's so many numbers on screen now. But look, two more wins to go. Oh, fortunately, they're like the worst two. Although I could give the cat honey or a mushroom. They both do the same thing, basically. Yeah, I'll give the cat honey just because it's an extra sort of life. Let's roll. Nice. We got pizza. Two random pets. Two and two. Decent. Uh, roll once more. Oh, extra life. I don't think I want to give anyone an extra life. So I'll roll once more. Then two random pets. One on one. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Nice. Because that is actually two random pets. Three and three. Thanks to the level two rabbit. All right, let's end our turn. We've got so much health in our team. We don't have much attack damage, although we do compare to their team. So boosh. Got rid of the melon armor behind with the chili. Love it. Go on squirrel, ripping through the team. Rabbit doing the same thing. And although we lost the rabbit to the badger damage, a cat killed the bee. Right, one more win required. So I think I'm going to roll. Right, we got melon armor and we got steak. So what I might do, I might give melon armor to the cat. Oh, but look, there's the cow. Now, it's not, I don't think it's worth using a cow. Now these are so cheap, it's literally not worth it. Yeah, I'm going to give melon armor to the cat then. And then do I give steak to the seal? Because then it's got more chance of almost killing a 50-50. We'll lose the splash damage though. We'll give two random friends two and two, which isn't a bad thing. Now I think I'll just roll. We'll use a salad bowl. Oh, I've just realized I'm an idiot. I'm an actual idiot. The squirrel, it's only the start of turn. It discounts shot food by two gold. So this one still costs three coins. Oh, I'm an idiot. I knew the maths wasn't working in my head. What am I on about? Oh dear. Right, there's sushi. We'll freeze that. Although no, there's no point freezing anything because it's literally, we're on sudden death. If we lose, we lose. If we win, we win. Ah, oh, but we can draw. Ignore me. All right, so the unintended mouths are facing off against the suave bananas. Oh god, they got a 50-50 bison in the middle. And that bloody scorpion just killed us. Oh, this is going to be tight. I think we've won. Get in. Food for the win, people. Uh, this was actually one of the things I wanted to try at the start. You know, when I was like, I'm not sure whether I'll be able to try certain things because luck, random. One of my ideas was a food build and we've done the food build. Uh, but think about it, maybe I shouldn't have done the squirrel. If I just had a rabbit and cat, I could have had like another, like a worm or something. I don't know. Something, something else. But yeah, decent. Game one, turn 16. They go into the Hall of Fame. We get 100 points and it means I can actually turn the game off for a little bit because my addiction has been somewhat catered for. But anyway guys, peace, love and addictions and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!